Hey there guys, it's Psycho Red here. I just wanted to give you guys a little how-to tutorial on how to get Japan games or Japanese games on your iDevice for free. Well, not so much for free, but they most of the Japanese games that I do play or that the games that I would recommend are free. So you can uh, download these games at no cost. So to start off, you're going to want to go into your app store, of course, and you're going to want to go ahead and create a new account. Now, to, to do so, to have this a new account, you're going to want to create a new email. The email that you have that's for iTunes or Ready or for the app store, you're not going to be able to use that actual uh email address. You're going to need to come up with something new. Go to Google, Yahoo, or uh, wherever your main site is or wherever you like to go and create a new email. And that email is going to be specifically for Japanese games or games from other countries. So the reason why I'm going, actually before I even get into any of this, the reason why I'm going over this is because uh, I've been asked a couple of times by other people in my comment section if I can create a how-to tutorial video on how to you know get uh, Final Fantasy Grandmasters. Uh, Final Fantasy Grandmasters is one of the many games that Japan releases but does not come over to the United States or to the western half of the world until maybe a few years down the road. We barely just got Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key, and that game was out for a long time in Japan, and now we are now we actually officially got it now. So it's just been, gosh, I would say a couple, it's been months uh, where Japan is ahead of us, and I wanted to create a tutorial on how to get those videos. So what you want to do is when you have that actual uh, email address that you've created you're going to want to sign you're going to want to actually create a new apple id that new apple id will tie into the email account that you already have created so for me well actually i'm, I'm just going to go through the, the main steps so once you get to the main account you're going to see a whole list of countries down here and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to scroll all the way down to the very bottom and through through trial and error, I've been able to find out which one of these uh, countries is Japan because you won't find an actual Japan. There's only Jamaica and Jordan. So you're going to have to actually go down to the very bottom. And you're ch I, for me, when I was first doing this, I was given these last four. And again, through trial and error, I found out that th I believe it's this one. That account is for uh, Japanese uh, the Japanese marketplace in the app store. So when we hit next, you're going to agree to the, the policies. And you're going to go ahead and plug in your email, plug in your password, and you're going to verify with that password. You're going to choose security questions. And then if you have an optional rescue email, so like your your main email that you would use, you can go ahead and plug that in there. Enter your date of birth. And then you can subscribe whether or not to emails. And then once you hit next, it's going to go ahead and set everything up for you. And you'll be transferred over to the Japan Play Store or the Japan App Store. From there, you can actually download the, the many games that you want to that aren't available to us. So as if you notice, my entire library just changed to Japan or Japanese. So... Let's see here. Let's go and search. And there it is. Final Fantasy Grandmasters is right there. I've already ha I already have it downloaded on my on my iDevice, so it's going to already say open, but you're just going to want to hit the it will say get and you can get it from there. And then also if you do play Final Fantasy Record Keeper, this is a great way to get the Japan version of Final Fantasy Record Keeper as well too. So I'm not even signed in into an account yet, so I'm going to actually see what happens when you hit get and install. Yeah, see, it will ask for your Apple ID, so you will need to create that no matter what. Um, I was hoping, actually, that they would just install it onto your device without actually having to put in any of the information, but you will still need that email address or the uh, Apple ID account. 
So that's pretty much it. It's really simple. Nothing really too complex about it. Uh, just remember, and I would just keep it on a spare notes of what's your email for Japan and for and for North America if you live here in the, in the Americas. Um, or if you live in any other country, just make it, make sure that you keep a spare email for both accounts. So, or a spare note showing what both accounts credentials are, excuse me. So that's pretty much it. There's nothing really much to it. It's just, it's pretty simple. Just plug in information. Um, the only thing that I actually came across that I kind of got a little bit stuck on is I'll show you right here. I believe what they end up doing is they ask for your, I believe the next step actually, I be, yeah, actually before I even continue on, the next step actually before this is they'll ask you for your credit card information and Visa of course is, is used everywhere, but I believe Japan does, and correct me if I'm wrong, I believe Japan gives the option to, um, choose no credit card uh, required. So they give you an option where you can choose Visa, MasterCard, or Discover, and then there's another option where it says, or American Express, and then another option says uh, no credit card required or no credit card available, and then it will skip that. And then you'll put in your name, and then you'll need to put in an actual address. For whatever reason, they still require some address. So what I ended up doing is... Um, I looked into, I just looked at a map of Japan and, or even just online and I Googled Japan and I Googled like, you know, uh, what did I end up Googling? I think I Googled like a church in, in Japan and I just made that church's address, the address to my account. It wasn't anything too big. You can probably find uh, a McDonald's in Japan or something or a restaurant in Japan and make that the address of your app store account. And it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything to. I mean, there you're really not going to get any mail from Apple. Um, there's really no reason why uh, any fictitious, you know, address uh, would mess up your account. It it hasn't messed up mine, so I, I wouldn't be too worried about that. So that's pretty much it. Um, the address was probably the the hardest part out of it all. Just make sure you just go online and just research an address in Japan, and that's pretty much it. Um, but that's going to be me for for everything Apple Plus. This is Psycho Red here signing off. This is just the how-to tutorial on how to get a Japanese account and get Japanese games onto your iDevice for free. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day as well, too. Peace.